Hi and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to do a little laundry. I am not at the laundromat either. So I just got off work and I knew this day was going to happen. I got somebody else's blood on my uniform top and it wasn't just a drop of blood from an IV or something like that. It was a considerable amount of blood. So I don't want to put my uniform in the laundry bag with all my other clothes. I want to get out of this thing. I'm going to try and wash it here in the van, just hang it to dry in my shower. What I got was, it was a surprise gift from my daughter for Christmas. It's called the Scrubber, and it's a wash bag. And it's it's a good size, so it's going to definitely be big enough to wash this um, uniform top. Um, it says, yes, a couple, um, couple shirts or some socks, underwear, stuff like that. So what I did before I left St. Louis is I just put a little bit of liquid laundry detergent in a root beer bottle. That way, when this day came, which I knew it was, I would be prepared. So I'm going to use this scrubber bag and see if I can't get the blood out of this shirt. I'm going to hang dry it. So let's give it a shot. All right. So we are going to put a little bit of cold water in here because that's what you wash bloody clothes with. Oh, got to turn the water pump on. There we go. I think they'll work best if I put them right directly on where the blood was. At work, I took a wet washcloth and it's probably too much. And I took a wet washcloth and hopefully this isn't too much. When you're used to using a laundry machine at home, I know there's going to be people that say, shouldn't you have gloves on? You're exactly right. That's what we got, though. That's what we got. Hopefully that's enough. Hopefully that's enough. I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a drop in there. Just another little drop in the bag. Because I'm going to have to rinse that out too. And all this is taking my precious water. Now I'm leaving a little bit of the air in there. Because I think that that will help me slosh it around. But on the inside of this bag there's like little ribs. And do that. I wish I had time. I'd set it outside. Let it soak for a while. Oh yeah, it's not bad. That's pretty cool. It's got lots of suds in there. I think I did it right. I'm doing it right. Okay, I'm going to let it soak for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to rinse it out and hang it up to dry. We'll see if it works. I think I think it's working. I think it's working. I'm gonna put some rinse water in there. 
and rinse it out and then hang it up to dry. All right. All right, we're gonna hang that up. All right, we're gonna hang that up and I think we're good. Good morning. <laughs> All right, so I just woke up and my uniform looks good. You can see, well, I don't know if you can see it or not, honestly. The spot here, I can't even tell where it was at now, so. Yeah, I can't even see the spot now, so. So that worked out perfect. It's completely dry. It is 80 degrees in here. I've got the fan on, but it's 80 degrees in here. So that's a whole new video. <laughs> so anyway, so the Scrubba bag, wash bag by Calibris worked pretty good. Worked pretty good. Thank you, Megan. All right, we'll see you guys on the next video.